Good evening, welcome. Welcome to Reiki Live. Let's see if I can reload this page here. My name is Carrie Wade, and I'm going to be sending you some Reiki energy this evening. So, I'm gonna to try to get this shared out on my page. And if you would please share this video on your page with any friends or family that you think could benefit from a little bit of healing. Beautiful thing, one of the beautiful things about Reiki is that it works on all levels. It works on the spiritual level, it works on the emotional level, the mental level, and the physical level. Hi, Day, how are you? Day from Texas, Victoria Davis. Hello, my friend, Jessica Hansen. Welcome, welcome, thank you for being here. So, tonight we're gonna do some Reiki. I'm gonna do some Reiki. You're gonna receive some Reiki. If you have an intention of something you'd like some healing around, I invite you to set that intention now. And, uh, you know, if you don't have anything in particular, just some peace and calm, relieving some stress, uh, bringing more gratitude into your life, maybe you're trying to manifest something, um, a new job, a new relationship, a new home. Uh, hi, Hope, how are you? Um, set that intention, set that intention to receive some healing around that. The beautiful thing about Reiki is that it goes to where it's needed the most. And so we can set an intention. I think that's powerful. But whatever is needed the most for you is where that energy will first flow to, okay? It heals from the spiritual level, which trickles down through all of the other levels. And so, uh, you know, unlike getting a prescription drug or a painkiller, for example, that masks the, the symptoms of whatever's going on, Reiki is actually healing from that level, okay? It is actually um, healing from the root of it, healing from the root of it so that, so that you're not just masking it. If your body is giving you a signal like pain or whatever it may be, you need to listen, okay? Get into the body. And so that reminds me, there's something I kind of want to do tonight, something a little bit different that I just learned this last week and I love it. So again, welcome if you're here. Hi, Lisa, thank you for being here. If you'd like to share this out on your page, I would really, really appreciate it. You would have my full gratitude. If you have any groups that you belong to that allow you to share videos, please do so. And you know, the more healing we can get out in the world, the better off we all are. I think we all need some of that, right? So um, I'm gonna try a, a new technique sort of thing that I learned this week that I really, really like, which is helping us to embody our, ourselves to get back into our bodies. And also I wanted to mention, has anybody been watching Headspace or watched Headspace on Netflix? If you would like to learn how to meditate and learn more about meditation, go watch Headspace. I don't know how many episodes there are. I've seen like the first three or four and it just talks a little bit about some of the benefits of meditation and and calming our mind and that sort of thing. And then leads us through a short meditation. And each, each episode has been a little bit different, which is cool. The thing with meditation is this. It may seem hard to do it. Yeah, people have a hard time quieting their minds. I get it. Same thing. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. That's why it's called a meditation practice. We're always practicing. So just keep in mind that your mind will wander and that's okay. Our brains never shut up. Um, you know, that brain is always talking. It's always busy, right? Our mind is always doing, 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 doing. You know, that's our human nature, unfortunately. And with meditation, we can learn how to quiet that mind. And when you find your mind wandering while you're trying to meditate or have some stillness, when you notice it, just bring your attention back to your breath. Just follow the breath. Uh, breathing is the cheapest and most available medicine that we have. And it's the one thing that is with us from the moment we're born until the moment that we die. 
It is always with us. You can't forget it at home. You won't walk into the other room to get it and forget what you came in there for. It's always with you. You always have that tool. And so this little short meditation we're going to do tonight with our Reiki, which I've already started by the way, is, is, um, is just a little way to get back into our body. And also it's a stress buster. I think that's what they, what this meditation was called. I think it's one that I listened to on um, Insight Timer. It's another great app for your phone. If you don't have Insight Timer, download the app. It's free. Thousands of meditations, all different times. There's different talks. It's just a wonderful tool. And if you search my name on there, I've got one meditation on there, Yoga Nidra meditation on there right now, but I'll be uploading more as we go. So, hi Jackie, how are you? Welcome, thank you for being here. And so, let's just start with this little technique, okay? If you're comfortable in a place that you're comfortable doing so, just close your eyes, or you can take a soft gaze if you like. We're just gonna take a couple of nice deep breaths. So, as we breathe in, let's fill up the lungs. Let's feel, feel our whole body expanding with the breath. So breathing in deeply and letting it go. Now you can let go of the breath through the mouth, through the nose, whatever's comfortable for you. There's no hard, fast rules. Just do what's comfortable for you. As you let go of that breath and it leaves your body, let the tension go. Okay, just visualize that tension just moving out of your body, letting go of any stress, any holding. Just physically let your body relax. So let's do that again. Let's breathe in deeply through the nose, filling the body with the air, expanding the lungs, the belly rises, and let it all go, letting the tension just melt and fade from the face the neck, the shoulders, allowing them to drop. And again, another deep breath in, filling all the way up, filling the joy and letting it go. That heavy burden on your shoulders just dropping away. And as we breathe in, let's just picture joy. What does joy look like? What does it feel like? I always think of the color yellow when I think of joy. And then releasing any tension, any holding anywhere in the body. Now I just want you to fill your body, feel your body, fill, feel. They sound too much alike. You can do it maybe by just rubbing your fingertips together Closing your eyes and just feeling, feeling the ridges on your fingers. You can also rub the palms. Just rub your fingers across and feel those lines, feel the indentations. This is just kind of bringing us into our body, bringing our awareness into the body, helping us to ground. Beautiful, beautiful. So here's the little stress buster, and I, I really found that this to be powerful for those moments. Somebody ever had a panic attack, or maybe you feel like you're starting to have a panic attack? This can help you, okay? So here's how this goes. And you can open your eyes for this. Hi, Barbara, thank you for being here. So just look around you and let your eyes fall on five different things that you can see. Maybe they're things of the same color, maybe they're objects that have meaning for you. Five different things, just let your eyes fall on those five things. Now four things that you can feel. Maybe it's the clothes on your skin. Maybe it's the air. Maybe you're feeling something in your body. 
four things you can feel. And now I'll be quiet for a moment because I want you to listen for three things that you can hear. Now two things that you can smell. I smell my candles for one. And now one thing that you can taste. One thing you can taste. Now take a deep breath in again and let it go. Isn't that calming? I just love that. So five things you can see, four things you can feel, three things you can hear, two you can smell, and one you can taste. Don't worry about writing them down. I will put a comment in here afterwards, okay? In the, in the comments in here, I will write those five different things down. So it's called Stress Buster 54321. So I don't think they really have to be in that order. I think it's easier to see five things than to taste five things, right? So that's probably why they're that way. <laughs> okay, Reiki is warming up in here. I'm going to take my sweater off. It's cold in Arizona. We're not used to it. There was, there was snow in some places. We didn't have any snow where I live, but some places there were this week. So... I'm going to start, so I already started the Reiki. I'm going to continue sending the Reiki to you. And Reiki is an energy. Reiki actually means universal life force energy. Rei is universal or from God. And Ki is life force energy. You might know it by Chi in Chinese, Prana in Indian. So Reiki, universal life force energy. This is the life force energy that flows through every one of us. It's what animates us. It's what animates our bodies. It's a vital component to our health and our well-being. This energy just flows through me and it's coming to you. It's energy. Everything is energy. That's why we can do this remotely. It can also be done in person with the hands-on technique. And it never does harm. So it's never gonna set you back in any way. It never conflicts with any other modes of healing. In fact, it's a beautiful support for any kind of physical healing. So if you're going through anything physical, um, if you have any surgeries, anything that you're dealing with, any illness, any disease, Reiki really supports that healing and helps to speed it up. So just, just let that energy flow from me to you. And I just invite you to really take this time to be present. We're also busy doing for others, taking care of everybody else. And sometimes we get left behind, right? We take care of ourselves last, if there's anything left to give. And sometimes there just isn't. So honor yourself by just taking a few minutes to just sit and breathe. You can have an intention for what you'd like healing around. Perhaps you want to just practice a little gratitude. What are you thankful for today? You can also use this time for prayer if you're so inclined. Really quiet the mind and allow our bodies to relax. And just be present in this moment right now. Not looking behind, not looking ahead. Just here, right now. This 
is where we can communicate with our intuition, with our higher self. Ask your higher self, ask your guides, your angels for what you need. And give thanks. And always surrender. That surrender part is really important. You know, you don't go to a restaurant and give the wait person your order and then follow them around to make sure that they put it in and that the cook makes your order and to make sure everything's just right before it's being served up to you. No. You give them your order. They do their job. And they present you with a meal. It's sort of the same thing when setting our intentions when asking for help and support. Put your order into the universe. Let them do their job, let go of it. And then just let it happen. Seriously, is that easy? It's that surrendering part we have problems with sometimes. You know, we want to control things. We think we know a better way. And make sure everybody's doing their jobs. You know, if you're a mom, if you're a leader, a manager, a teacher, a nurse, you know, we're always making sure everybody's doing their jobs, right? Well, we don't have to do that with spirit. Set your intention. Put in your order. Let them run with it. Just watch to see what shows up. Feel your mind moving around, going off in different directions. Just come back to your breath. You don't have to be breathing in any certain way. Just bring your attention back to the breath. Just simply witnessing it. Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it deep? Is it shallow? This is the best way I can tell you to become present. Be in the moment. At the end of our Reiki tonight, I will be pulling a postcard from Spirit for a message for all of us. So please continue to hang out with us. Thank you for lending your energy to this too.
If you would like to learn more about Reiki energy and what it is, feel free to visit my website. I have a page on there that's dedicated to Reiki. My website is just carrywade.com. And you're always welcome to reach out to me with messages or comments, and I'll get back to you on it. Again, if you joined us after we started, I mentioned the show on Netflix, the series called Headspace. If you'd like to learn how to meditate, and like to know why you meditate, why it's a good idea to meditate, check out Headspace. The episodes are only like maybe 25 minutes or so long, 20 minutes, I don't know, 30. And there's a little teaching about meditation and different types of meditation, and then a short practice. You know, you don't have to sit down and meditate for 30 minutes the first time. Start with two minutes, move to five, maybe do five minutes twice a day. It's a practice, it's a practice. And on Insight Timer, you can actually choose those times. They have meditations for beginners. They have advanced meditations. I have a yoga nidra meditation on there. If you're not familiar with yoga nidra, yoga nidra is a meditation technique in which we use a series of breathing techniques and body awarenesses. And we alternate those and it leads you down to a really, really deep quiet space. We work with intention and so we set an intention and that intention is placed at the deepest part of the nidra. Yoga nidra actually means yogic sleep. Okay, it's that. It's that sweet spot where, you know, at night when you're trying to fall asleep and when your mind finally shuts off and you drop into sleep, it's that little gap between the mind being quiet and the sleep, the actual sleep coming. It's amazing. And a 45 minute yoga nidra is equivalent to three hours of really restful sleep. And so if you're ever dragging during the day, just take a nidra break. Go to a nidra for 30 to 45 minutes. Get that little rest in. It's very restorative. It raises all of our good hormones like melatonin and serotonin and oxytocin. We get the runner's high, all those good uh, uh, HGH and anti-aging hormones. And it lowers our, our cortisol, which is the stress hormone. It's an amazing experience and I invite you to try it absolutely magical but try the different meditations on insight timer and start small start with a couple of minutes and if you never get past that that's okay it's two minutes you didn't have in your day before so it's a good thing oh surely we can all give up two minutes of social media scrolling right Hi, Tammy. Thank you for being here. I'm trying to see who else is on here. I can't always see the names. Uh, Dominique. Sandra, hi. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So I'm going to bring our Reiki to a close. And so I'd invite you just once more, let's just take a, breath, a breath in together. A breathe in. Breathe in deeply. 
through your nose, filling up your whole body with air. And releasing it. Yeah, and that release just let go. Let go. Surrender. Thank you for the opportunity to send you the Reiki, and I hope you enjoyed our little stress buster meditation. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time for a postcard from Spirit. This is an oracle deck from my favorite oracle deck person, Colette Baron Reed. They're just beautiful messages. That hi, Erin. How are you? Oh, I'm dropping cards. I guess that's our card, eh? So here we go, here's our postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, there is only one you and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you to how you live, how awake you choose to be and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good, especially on social media, according to society standards. But you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. Let me say that line again. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come? Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what somebody else has. Mm. We love you immensely. And know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. These are kind of like, I have to like really kind of focus on these because it's kind of hard to read the writing because it's kind of light on there and it's not super right in my room here. So anyway, what a beautiful message, right? Ah, oh, yeah, you know. Everybody's life looks pretty damn good when you're looking at Facebook and Instagram. It's like, oh, I want what they have. They have everything. Their life is so perfect. Why do I have to go through this crap? Why am I struggling with this? Why am I feeling unsupported and unappreciated and, and feeling like I don't have anybody that I can talk to or be connected with? Well, you know, what's, what you see out there isn't always what there really is. That person may be suffering a whole lot worse than you are. But, you know, it's just like I was in real estate for 38 years. And I can make any house sound good in an ad. I can make it sound like a freaking mansion with words, right? But the reality is that everything isn't a freaking mansion. <laughs> Code words for things like cozy, <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Anyway, it's, you know, just focus on you. You're the only one that you have to compare yourself to. Compare yourself today to who you were before. Just a little ways back. Look back this way. The camera looks weird. Okay, so I digress as usual. Thank you very much for being here. Please visit my website, carrywade.com, if you have any questions. If there's anything I can help you with, I would love to hear from you. Thank you for sharing this out. You guys are so good about doing that every week and I really appreciate you. I appreciate your contributions to our group as well. If you're not in, in our private Facebook group, it's called Love, Laugh, Connect. So if you can't find it, send me a message and I'll send, send you an invite or just search it and uh, you gotta come and join us. Um, there are some naughty things on there, so 
if uh, if you have kids, it's not necessarily a kid type of page. But we share things that make us laugh. We share things that inspire us. And we are connecting with each other. And, you know, we have to have our tribe. That tribe is so important. And so please join our group. I think you'll like it. Unless, unless you don't have a sense of humor, you probably won't like it. So yeah, that's not the group for you. That's okay. <laughs> We aren't, we aren't all everyone's cup of tea and there's nothing wrong with that. So peace and blessings. Have a great week. I'll see you back here next Tuesday night for another Reiki Live. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jai Bhagwan. A year ago today was in India still. Oh, I miss it. I'll get back there someday. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.